Hi guys, uh, this video is going to be about my uh, Star Trek models. Now, I have completed some, but there won't be any pictures of these because I haven't finished them. Uh, they have been finished once in a while, but well, they're in pieces, or have gone to pieces anyway. If we start over here, we have the Enterprise D. Uh, as you can see, it's some pieces. This has got pieces, as you can see. I had to, when I took it apart the last time, this thing came away on this side. So I had to make a new one for it, and I had to uh, bridge the gap here, so that's one thing. Uh, there's a lot of glue residue on this, so I need to try and fix this, as you can see. If we turn this upside down, you see another mistake I made. I actually tried drilling holes and uh, I screwed up. As you can see. Uh, the stand when it's uh, in one entire unit is supposed to be here that's more or less blocked off here is the other and I need to make a new for it because the one I had broke so that's that uh, I actually ha still have the captain's yacht that's supposed to be there. It's in a box. In that contraption. And if we move down here, we have the runabout. Now, as you can see here, we have one teeny tiny runabout. I don't think you can, if we can zoom in on it. That little runabout is supposed to go on Deep Space Nine. And if we remove the Enterprise A, we can see Deep Space Nine is in pieces in the box. And if we will take the Enterprise, uh, here is the Aztec pattern. Decal sheet used somewhat. Here is the number five shuttlecraft, as you can see. Now I made a hole for it because uh, if we take a look at the stand, it's supposed to stand on. Now the rod has broken off, unfortunately. But it's supposed to stand, I made it so it can stand like that when the bigger ship stands above it. Uh, I made a lot of mistakes when I, well, a few mistakes. I need to strip the paint from all these pieces. 
And once upon a time, when I tried to reinforce the these parts, I actually used uh, a sawed-off uh, screw. But uh, that won't be used next time. The only thing I was proud of, the filiger dish. Uh, let's see if we can put you on the stand. Without Now, this thing is obviously going to sit Move you a bit, as you can see Sit here And the other one goes There Apparently There. Uh, the one part I have lost of this uh, is the sorry, brain freeze. The shell bay doors. Sorry. this together I the last time I was not too gentle with it so it's I need to replace a lot of this pens I need to make sure the seam lines are closed and depending on what's available if it's available, I'm going to gouge out these and replace them with uh, clear plastic. I'm going to see the online catalog. So that's what I'm going to do. As you can see, I got screws here. That was when I tried to have the circuit board inside the salsa section, but I am going to change that. And now my neighbor is babysitting because I can hear the kid yelling outside and we move on <laughs> the only thing I didn't break apart in Deep Space Nine the stand now I'm gonna put the little runabout back where it's supposed to be in the box or at least that one now moving on the cutaway enterprise let's see if we can <laughs> Uh, 
That's funny. The camera recognized the young Captain Kirk as a person, but not Spock. Anyway, uh, as you can see, there are some parts missing from this. Part of Bizarre Collectors and uh, a few parts from this. Uh, back part here. I'm actually going to fetch that. Okay, here is the parts that are missing, at least a few of them. I had to remake a new bridge for it. Sorry, there. I need to make it have it on the stand otherwise the zoom goes sorry anyway as I was saying I had to make a new bridge for it as you can see it also has the Deflected dish for the Voyager. And there is the captain's yacht for the Enterprise D. Half of the Bizarre Collector. Whole piece. The other piece of the Bizarre Collector. Here is the deflected dish. There are a lot of pieces to a lot of ships here. Here are impulse engines for um, Enterprise D. A shuttlecraft uh, I think it's for put inside here. So that's it. Now, when it comes to the shuttle hatch for uh, the Enterprise uh, A, I might use use this as a guide and uh, make me a new one because, as you can see, it's the other other half of this. Hmm, couldn't. Here is the other half of this. So, here are a piece to define, as well as this. Uh, I'm gonna see here. Do, 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 do. Now, here we have the original Enterprise, at least Captain Kirk's. Uh, that's why I bought it, because the only original Enterprise I have is this one that's cut in half. Oh, and I have J.J. Abrams' version, but that one doesn't count. And here is Voyager, but we can move that aside a bit and plump this in its place. As you can see, it's the Defiant. Now, I found all the pieces to this ship except the engine parts, but 
since I'm probably going to do a, a lighting scheme on this one, it doesn't need to have the any engine housings. Uh, yeah. We also have a Klingon cruiser. If we move the defiant out of the way. As you can see. Klingon cruiser. The old type. I haven't found any of the new types. I'm gonna sink the stand down so you can I can have it at a better angle. Okay. We do it like this then. Then you tilt forward. Okay. So we go like that. Anyway. <coughs> this was pretty simple made. Uh Put it together, spray painted it uh, green, all green, and I actually missed, I forgot to paint inside the torpedo casing, or housing, sorry. Uh, in the movie, it's supposed to be able to fire torpedoes from back here, but this one can't, so it must be an earlier model. <laughs> uh, that's that. Now, here we have Voyager <coughs> in all its glory. <laughs> bit saggy here in the back end. Uh, as you can see it's starting to give so I need to re-glue it. Something like that. Actually something like that is the proper As you can see, I have one finished, well, one model that's put together, and the one that's in the box. These are not the same. This is not opened, every part is in it. This one isn't open, and it's completely whole, as well as this one. Uh, why did I buy a new one? Well, I wasn't too pleased with these. As you can see, I've painted the windows blue and stuff. I'm actually going to put this in a very, very big bath of uh, paint stripper. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to strip the paint from all my models except the Klingon Cruiser. Uh, actually, these models, anyway as well as the Defiant, uh, the Enterprise A, and Deep Space Nine. Excuse me. Late last night. So that's where we are right now. I am going to try to find the case on ship as well as if we turn this box around as well as the marquee fighter as you can see here this is the box, the this is the 
back side of the uh, Enterprise model. So it has the Voyager and the Klingon cruiser. Now, if you look, I don't think we can see that, but we try. This Klingon cruiser is a bit more detailed than this one. So either I need to come up with some type of uh, some type of uh, photo etch parts that I can glue on this one I have or I'm actually going to try and uh, get my hands on this one so I will buy one one and one so three more models if possible I might need to order these new ones from uh, from the states because my store could only get their hands on this one this Enterprise and this Voyager they couldn't get their hands on the other ones I don't know if you can see it but there is actually the original water decal the back stopping on this you can see it a bit so that is probably the only thing on this model I won't be putting in a paint bath or stripper bath so basically this thing I need to either scrape the paint off file it off or do something to correct the colors because I don't think I painted in the original car loader sorry I'm slaughtering right now anyway that's it for my Star Trek so see ya